Why does everyone knock like this? Before we even know anything about music, we know how to knock on someone's door using that unmistakable rhythm. It's everywhere. Bluegrass music, jazz, and of course, cartoons. It's in Sinatra tunes and even musicals. But although no one can quite agree where it comes from, it does actually have a history and a name. It's called Shaving a Haircut, Two Bits. Shaving a Haircut, Two Bits. The earliest occurrence we can find comes from an early ragtime tune from 1899 called At a Darktown Cakewalk, which is probably as racist as it sounds, by a man called Charles Hale. It then becomes a kind of musical meme, turning up a lot of the time in jokey, humorous jazz, blues, and country tracks. Out your father, goodbye! Fast forward to 1939, and the phrase is used in a song by Dan Shapiro, Lester Lee, and Milton Berle called Shaving a Haircut Shampoo, and the phrase gets its name. Shaving a haircut. To say that the phrase is persistent is underselling it a bit. It's gone well beyond music to just something people use. <laughs> but why? What is it about the phrase that makes it endlessly recyclable? Fundamentally, it comes down to three things. Timing, rhythm, and anticipation. First, it's incredibly short. Just seven notes. It's just enough to get your ears around, but not enough that anyone has to force themselves to remember it. It just sticks. Second, the rhythm is a two-part call and response, a question and answer. This even means you can do it as a kind of duet. One person calls, another person answers. Which of course brings us to anticipation. For an incredibly short phrase, it's still all about getting to that resolution. The first phrase, the shave and haircut, is all about that rest, that beat where nothing plays. We could resolve the phrase differently and the anticipation just wouldn't be there. But the gap in the rhythm creates this almost desperate need for resolution. That's why the second part of the phrase, the two bits, is so satisfying. It resolves the anticipation and answers the rhythmic question. Ultimately, shaving a haircut feels timeless, even though it's a relatively recent musical idea. Just don't play it in Mexico, where it means, hey, or go f your mother. It sounds unlikely, but it's 100% true, so maybe keep that kind of musical language to yourself in Mexico, okay? <laughs>